Okay. I am going to tell you a little bit more. I start thinking about other places where saws have problems. And one of the things I realize is on the old saws, so much of the time I saw that somebody had a pulley go bad and then they modify it and they grab something else out of their shop and then their, their feed ratios are all wrong. So um, on our saws here, and I'm going to lift this belt guard off, we have the nice lift off hinge that makes it really handy. Basically what you've got is you've got your motor pulley, arbor pulley, feed pulley, your step pulley in the front, and an idler pulley. Now I will mention while I have it apart here, sometimes when people have a noise in their saw, there'll be this noise and they'll conclude, oh, the arbor bearings are bad. In reality, it's not their arbor bearing sometimes. And if you take the feed belt off and the sound goes away, then you know it's coming from either here or these bearings up here. Now these are turning pretty slow, so usually the most likely culprit is this one right here. If, if the bushing gets dry or if it's worn out and that, and that pulley's rattling, it, it can sound a little bit like a main bearing, but if you take this belt off and then run the saw just with the arbor bearings running, then you can be able to hear, is it just an arbor bearing problem or am I dealing with something here? On the pulley sizes, we have a chart of feed rates. I'm happy to share that information with everyone. I'll put it up on the screen so you all can copy it and, and have it. It basically tells you blade speeds for the different size saws and the feed rates. And there's a calculation in there that will show you inches per hour. Um, but getting the right sizes is really important or your feed rate can be off and it can cause you more problems because you're pushing the blade, you know, pushing the rock into the blade too fast.